overall during that stretch. I mean, you, you had a rough stretch, there's no doubt about it. You know, after being on top of the world and having to deal with those kind of results, I mean, did doubt ever creep in? Did you think, maybe I don't have it anymore? No, not doubt, but just uh, just a level of competition. You know, I was calling out the best in the world. I mean, I fought Max Holloway, I fought, you know, Charles Oliveira, everybody at lightweight pretty much that was in the top. Um, so it wasn't really doubt, it was just uh, getting that mental right. Yeah, definitely you feel like, you. what am I doing wrong? But uh, I just stuck to it, you know, we got a little bro fighting. I think a little brother fighting and getting his shine, like, yeah, we got, we got something special here. Can you say, besides just what this, you know, kind of getting back on the right track means to you, what a win over Tim Miller means, a guy that's been around forever? I mean, just the win in general feels amazing, you know, to be back in the lightweight division. Weight cut was amazing. I didn't have to, like, kill myself. I got to train the whole camp. Uh, it just felt good. And I got to ask you about the, the ending sequence of the fight. I mean, you, you know, I think you had the victory secure at that point, but you guys kind of got a little little crazy and creative at the end. What, what was kind of going through your mind? Just have fun out there, man. I was like, you know what, 30 seconds left. Let's give the fans something to, to cheer about. Anthony right here. Um, just kind of what John said too, uh, you know, going through what you did at the end of last year at UFC 206, um, did you, you know, who sort of like helped you through that time to sort of, you know, get get right back on track and everything? Because, you know, it was, it was pretty devastating to kind of lose and, you know, deal with the weight cut and everything. Uh, my family, my girlfriend, my brother, uh, my daughter, just getting back to, and my coaches too, obviously. I got Israel Martinez, Duke Rufus, um, Sergio was in my corner for this fight, but just uh the coaches and the family really helped me just stay focused and, and know that I'm, I have the talent. The talent was always there. It was never an issue of talent. Uh, it was just mental and just uh, just wanting it. And everyone watching obviously thought it was a great fight. Uh, but you yourself, do you feel like this was the type of performance to kind of remind everyone in the lightweight division that, hey, I'm back? I mean, it was my best performance, but I, I feel like uh, against a guy like Jim Miller, I mean, I hit him with some big shots. So he stayed standing, so you know, props to Jim. And you want to kind of keep this momentum and, and fight soon? When are you looking to, to go back again in the octagon? Um, you know what? I'm going to take some time. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow. I'm going to take some time with her, uh, enjoy that, and then we'll look at where we're going to go. And any thoughts on the next opponent? Uh, no idea. Uh, Anthony, to your left? Yeah, where? I'll yep. see you back there. Uh, I just I noticed it, it seemed like you and Duke, uh, you know, right before you get you check with the commission with the mouthpiece and you get the, the stuff over your eyes, the Vaseline and everything, that you and Duke kind of like embraced each other for a while and he was talking to you. Was there, was there anything meaningful about that? Did you guys say anything before? You, before oh, yeah, happened? most definitely. Duke always knows what to say. I mean, Duke's been in my corner for every fight except for one, and he was on the same card as I was on. Um, you know, he just said, go out there, and he, like your father said, never let a pet, put a man put fear in your heart. And uh, he's like, go out there and just be, be yourself. And uh, that's what I did, man. I just wanted to have fun. No pressure. Like, I think the biggest thing was no pressure. And you know, I wasn't fighting for a belt or a potential belt. I was just fighting to have fun and, and, and do what I do best. Did this night, when you were in there, it, it did seem like you were having a – there were there were moments where you are dropping your hands a little bit. And you could tell that your confidence level was high. Was that – when was the last time you felt this way? Can you compare um, this night to – yeah, I felt this way uh, when I went on my title run. I mean, when I, when I beat Lozon, Cerrone, Henderson all in the first round, I just felt confident in uh, my skill set. You know, I've worked really hard on my, on my wrestling with uh, Israel Martinez, um, and I wanted him to, to, to shoot, to take a shot on me to show him I had that defense there. Um, I had the range. I felt strong. I hurt my hand in, like, the second round. The same, the same injury as the Holloway fight, so uh, I stopped throwing that right hand, but um, everything else worked good. Anthony, congrats. Do you Thanks, think man. that you broke your hand? Um, I broke it in the Holloway fight, yeah. and uh, it broke in a way that I didn't have to need surgery, but I, we knew it, was, it could be broken again. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's broke. So I got to take a get an x-ray and see what happens. Okay, because you didn't get the surgery last time, right? No, we didn't. It broke, uh, like, straight back, so I didn't need to readjust the knuckle. Okay, how does it feel now? Broken. Like broken. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. Uh, would you say this was your best performance since the Melendez fight? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Oliveira fight, 45 was death. You know, I yeah. was trying to make weight. I, would, I couldn't even train. I was just cutting weight the whole time. Yeah, this was, I felt, I felt at home again where I was just having fun and there was no pressure. And now that you're back and, and obviously feeling good and happy, do you regret the 145 move? Do you feel like you, you kind of No, not at all. I think uh, I was chasing, you know, my goal was always to be a two-time champ. When I, when I beat Henderson, I called out Aldo. Um, but I know it, with my age and where I'm at, the weight cuts are ridiculous. And last thing um, that I hadn't seen, you know, just observing you fight week in the past, you mentioned your girlfriend, and she seemed like she was with you more, like official weigh-ins. She was your sort of corner. And at media day and things like that, 
why did things change and why did you decide to do that as opposed to having a coach with you like usually? We had three fighters on the card and uh, uh -huh. they were busy, but obviously, obviously, it makes me feel the most comfortable. So um, we, we just, uh, we, what, what made me, I did what I felt makes me feel comfortable. Now you got to stick with it. Obviously. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you.